Everybody knows if you want that fun track car, the best place to look is the used market. But let's say you want a fun romping, like how would you say that? Like fun romper. What's a romper? What is a romper? God damn, combination of shorts, hilarious. That's a romper? Holy shit. How do you get in that? Is it, there's gotta be a system in the back. See, we're learning so much today. I haven't really looked into the uh, Subaru BRZ. I'm looking into rompers. I'll get a romper and I'll get the Mazda MX-5. Sold. Sweatpants, forget it. Rompers for life. Everybody knows if you're looking for a fun, affordable track car, you're gonna be looking at the Subaru BRZ and of course the Mazda Miata MX-5. So let's go ahead and see how these two stack up against each other in the paper performance. Let's get into it. As always, we're gonna start off with the engines of these vehicles. Of course, Subaru has its 2.4 liter boxer engine, which sounds great. Somehow Subaru does it better than Porsche. And for that fact alone, I like the uniqueness of a boxer engine. So I would probably go pick the Subaru just on that. I know I'm jumping the gun here, but you know, Subaru, nice. Mazda is not gonna be outshined though with its two liter inline four. Both of these are naturally aspirated by the way. The one thing I will say that is a negative, I know we're getting into like the weeds of things already, the Boxster engine I heard is a little bit harder to work on because everything's on the side. And I get that, so that's one thing to keep in mind, but I would still go with the Boxster engine. What kind of horsepower are we looking at though? I'll tell you my friend, we are looking at a very good 228 horsepower for the Boxster versus 181 horsepower. Obviously this goes to the Subaru. Same thing when it comes to the torque, 184 foot-pounds of torque versus 151 foot-pounds of torque for the Miata. Miata easily takes it when it comes to the weight. Actually, it's like 500 pounds lighter than the Subaru, so easily goes to Miata. And just to put this into perspective, I like to compare it to the things I already have. I'm fortunate enough to have a 2016 Challenger RT. That thing's a ton heavier than the Miata. No shock there, big car, she's a big girl. Um, but yeah, so when people say that like the Miata is slow, the Subaru is slow, I have to come to the conclusion, my Challenger is slow. And the reason why is, well, you'll see in just a second. Peak horsepower is made at the same for both of these, 7,000 RPM, very nice. Subaru just barely takes it when it comes to the peak torque, making the peak torque at 3,700 versus the 4,000 RPM that the Miata makes it at. All these come together to create the zero to 60 of both of these vehicles. The BRZ does it in 5.4 seconds. That's not bad. For the horsepower and the weight ratio, that makes sense. Again, zero to 60 for the Miata though is a little bit slower, but it's not too bad. 5.7 seconds. And the reason why I'm saying this is I wanna compare it to things that I actually have. I have a Challenger, it's so RT, it's 2016. That means it has a 5.7 liter V8 that makes 370 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. So that's 140 horsepower more than BRZ and double the torque. And yet it only does it in 5.1 seconds. Because again, it's a ton heavier than these cars. So I like that point because for future builds, weight reduction is just as important as power adders and brakes. Please don't forget your brakes. Upgrade those brakes if you're gonna do power adders. This leads to the quarter mile time of 13.9 seconds for the Subaru. Quarter mile time for the Mazda is 14.5 seconds. Still, not too bad. Price wise, both of them are very close. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more to the Mazda, like that would be cheaper, but no. $31,455 for the Subaru versus $30,510 for the Mazda. And again, both of these come in six speeds manuals and specifically, this is a 2023 Subaru BRZ Limited and the 2023 Mazda Miata, Miata Club MX-5. Yeah, that's it. Which one would you guys have? I, again, would, I already said which one I would. 2.5 liter boxer engine, that's all I care about. Subaru is cool, I like that. I've always liked the body style of it. The only body style that I really liked of the Mazda Miata is when it has that hard top and it basically goes straight to the back end of the car. That's pretty cool, it's got a long deck. You know, it looks proportionally nice. I like that. Um, Subaru, I always like the look of that, never bothered me. 
So I would take the Subaru. Which one would you guys take? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like these types of videos, please go ahead and let me know by clicking that like button. And if you wanna see more content like this and future content when I'm actually working on cars, that's gonna happen. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be there when that happens. And let me know what you'd like to see for the future. But I'm gonna leave you with this. Respect the speed, enjoy the journey, and love those around you. Peace.